What's up? I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> welcome to the first vlog. Welcome to welcome to Minnesota. Um, I, I don't know. I guess I'm gonna vlog this. Maybe I'll do some sort of weekly vlog. I I hadn't planned on this, but I was talking with John. Um, if you don't know who John is, he's my mentor and and friend and coworker and. I get a lot of wisdom from talking with him every week and he did something like what I'm doing um, in the past in the RV and he really got a lot out of his weekly blogging that he did and so I figured I would do something similar. I think a vlog is a bit easier for me than a blog um, just because this is it. This is all I have to do is talk to the camera. I'm not sure how to make it interesting or entertaining um, but really this is going to be what I did kind of who I am in this moment and cap try to capture some of my thoughts because I guess like John is saying um, I won't remember a lot of the things that I've been thinking about and what I've learned and experienced on this trip uh, and any of these types of trips so that's what this is for and this is week one uh, as in I've already been here for a week I am in St. Paul right now I am maybe like six blocks from my Airbnb and yeah it's a Sunday I think it's July 16th, 2023. Um, and yeah, I guess I'll just get right into it. I I got here last Friday. I flew here. I decided to come here to test out, you know, doing remote work from a, a random city and just exploring. And um, I've been really enjoying it, but I gotta say the thing that I really underestimated was like the feeling of being alone in a new city uh, without knowing anyone. Uh, that's the biggest thing that's going through my head. Uh, second biggest thing is how thankful I am of that bike that I got because I chose the city for how bikeable it is. And man, I have loved going and just exploring the area on my bike uh, so much better, so much cheaper than a car and so much faster than walking or running. Uh, and so that's what I've been doing a lot in my free time this past week. I wasn't super social. Um, but yeah, I mean, grocery shopping, exploring the area. Let's see, is there anything specific I want to talk about? <laughs> I mean, I have struggled with loneliness. I haven't found a good way to be social yet. This coming week, I really want to try and be more social. Um, man, this is hard. I. I didn't really do any preparation. I mean, I wrote some stuff down on my Mac that I might reference, but um, yeah, I'm not sure how to make this interesting or find my voice, as John said. Uh, oh, right, let's see. Okay, so yeah, some of the main things I did on, like during the weekdays, uh, since I've been here a week, I did work. I mean, I worked 40 hours. I did 30 hours of Curvo and then 10 to each day uh, on my entrepreneurship stuff. Um, I got some highlights there. Work is going well. I'm still really enjoying working for Curvo and talking with John every week or the weeks that we can. Uh, and in my entrepreneurship world, I well, actually no. I, this is just for the. <laughs> this is just for Minnesota. Why am I talking about work? Besides work, work's been fine. Um, besides work, I what have I done? Okay, so the Airbnb, the. The place is great. I mean, it's it's cheap relative to location because location's amazing. And um, let's see what else is good about it. I mean, I have a place to sleep. The bedroom's great, it's cozy. Uh, there's no air conditioning, but thankfully it has a, like a new cool air conditioning unit that I can use basically as a fan. Um, and, oh, okay, the one thing I'm thinking about, I don't know how to say it nicely, but the kitchen isn't super, like inspiring for cooking. It's pretty cluttered, kind of dirty, and he has no dishwasher, which isn't a problem, but considering he doesn't really clean the dishes as much as I would like before using them, I would have to clean them and then use them and then clean them again. So it would just take a long time. So this past week, I guess I decided that I wasn't really gonna do much cooking, but I still wanna try and save money. So what I've done is I eat cereal. I mean, that's easy and cheap. And then for lunch, I'll pack some sandwiches. And that's not really cooking, but it's also not eating out, which is good. Um, but then for every dinner, I actually have been eating out. Um, but I haven't been eating out like, you know, 15, 20 dollar meals a week. It's, or a day. It's more like five, between five and eight dollars per meal. And um, the reason I'm doing that is because I want to save money. 
and I want to see how far I can push it to be honest. It's kind of a fun game. Uh, sorry if you can hear the wind, it's, it's so windy right now. Um, I've been eating a lot of Chipotle. The Chipotle kids meals are he really healthy and only five bucks. I've been kind of playing some of the the app games like the um, McDonald's app or the Wendy's app trying to get rewards um, or like deals or like free food or one dollar fries stuff like that um, I need to work on it a little bit figure that out but that's something new I hadn't considered at all is that I just if I don't want to cook in the Airbnb what do I do so that's been interesting uh, but really the biggest thing I've done this past week is just explore the surrounding area like I am pretty familiar with the, the area just from biking around and that's exactly what I wanted to do here. Uh, just biking around. Uh, I don't know why it's so fun for me. Uh, but yeah, the weather's great. I wish it was a bit warmer. I do like the Newburgh Evansville weather. Um, oh, I can't believe I'm rambling for six minutes. There. Oh, I haven't even talked about, maybe I'll edit this down. Maybe not, maybe future me won't care. Um, I guess the biggest highlight for this week is that yesterday I biked 12 miles to the Mall of America. I guess it's some big mall that everyone knows about. And um, yeah, I just went there, explored around. Doing it alone was a bit weird. Um, doing it without the intent of shopping was also a bit weird, but that was good. I think I spent a grand total of, well, there was an Ikea nearby. I spent six bucks on a piece of pizza, which was amazing. Uh, mostly because I was super hungry. And yeah, I just walked around, saw some cool like art paneling. I uh, got a liminal photo. Um, saw a cool, I think it was Mexican performance in the center of the, the mall. And actually in the very center, there was a huge theme park or different types of theme parks, which was awesome. Uh, and then I went to an, uh, an Ikea nearby, which I think I mentioned. And that's where I spent two bucks. So I spent total yesterday, eight bucks. Um, I got a uh, Swedish like cookie, a sleeve of cookies. And the Ikea was honestly more fun than the mall just because um, there was like free sampling of the cookies and free food's always awesome, especially because I was so hungry. Cause I biked in total like a marathon yesterday, like 26 miles probably. Um, but yeah, exploring both of those huge buildings was really cool. Just seeing new things. I don't know, yeah, the biggest thing I learned is that I do need to be social every week. That's what I've been missing. And so this coming week, I want to be more social. It did help this past week that I had a couple really good calls with Austin. Um, me and him, yeah, yeah, we have good calls. And um, yeah, I think that's about it. I just kind of rambled for eight minutes. Hopefully I get better at these. I am really tempted to redo this, uh, but maybe future me will understand and be better at it. So. Goodbye for now, and I guess I will talk in a week after I've experienced more of the city. So, all right, talk then, and goodbye from week one.